watching YouTube, welcome to the channel. I am Ty- No, I gotta put the glasses on. I can't do it without glasses because I know I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at myself and it looks weird. So if anyone's wondering why I wear glasses always, that's why I wear glasses. Because instead of looking there, I look at myself and I know my eyes look weird on camera. So now, good evening. Welcome to the channel. I'm Tyler Fikes. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyways, today we're going to be throwing cab lights on my truck. And not in this video, but in a very soon video, we will be throwing cab lights on the Duramax as well. Well, we got two separate sets and now they are not classic cab lights these are the first batch ever made from cab lights America go check them out link will be down below but these lights are super awesome there's no drilling required you don't have to drill through here and run wires and all that crazy stuff because that is a lot of work I did it on a 97 power stroke my buddies that was actually on the channel a couple times I don't think I made a video on that anyways these lights, they're super awesome. Let me grab one. All right, so I got a light, and this is what the single unit looks like. And so they have a solar panel inside that keeps them charged, and then they're Bluetooth, so I have a little remote, turns them all on, and they go bright, dim, or, those lights just turned off, or strobe. So it's super awesome. They have white LEDs inside, which in California are illegal unless your vehicle is prior to a certain year, which mine is not. So they also have little amber covers that go right over the LED on the inside that makes them amber lights, so they are legal to run. And now for my truck, since mine's all blacked out and everything, I do in fact have smoked lenses for the cab lights, and I think these are gonna look awesome and complete the look of the truck, even though we still have a ton more to do. And then on the white truck, which will be in a future upload, we got clear ones with white LEDs, and they're gonna look super clean, super crisp, and go with that all white and chrome and polished aluminum type look we are going for. So anyways, let me show you what I got in the garage to keep these charged, because my truck stays outside, so the sun will keep these charged. But the white truck is always staying in the garage. So in order to keep these charged, it needs some kind of light source. So we got Mike out here, wiring up. Oh, is it not that light? Oh, wiring up another set of lights. Oh, it's not even that light. Okay, I haven't seen it yet. It's this. I thought it was gonna be something more like that, but it's this that'll keep them charged on the roof of the truck because the truck, the big white one, fits right in here, and that's about right where the cab lights will be. Here's the company, Cab Over America. Remote controlled, no holes, no wires, no drilling, none of that stuff, just solar panels, batteries, Bluetooth remotes, super awesome. And like I said, there'll be a link down below if you guys wanna check these out. All right, and here's the truck before cab lights. You can see we got the light up there. I'm not pulled in all the way because we're gonna be working on it. When you're pulled in all the way, that should be facing more towards the lights. Now we're just gonna clean the top with some alcohol slap the lights on and here it is and they're on and i think they look awesome they send a super cool tape measure with it that has a zero in the center and then it goes to 36 on the edges so it makes it really easy to line it up and get these dead center on the truck and lined up just the way you want them and i am happy with the way they turned out all right now here is the remote and to turn it on use the bottom and to turn it off use the top and it's not just press it and let it go you got to press and hold the button until they all come on then you can let go and that is the bright setting and then you press and hold the off to turn them all off and then press and hold to turn them on and that's the dim setting and now turn them off and then press and hold on for the strobe setting so it has three different settings i personally like that one the best and we do have these little orange lenses that we will be putting inside of those so they don't run white so they'll be orange so they'll be legal to use on the street and it's super easy, two little bolts, pops the cap off, throw the lens in there, and then put it back on. They appear the same on the outside when they are off, but then when they're on, they appear amber. Now I'm gonna turn the garage lights off and show you what they look like in the dark, and that is the dim setting. I'm gonna turn it off, on strobe, off, on bright. And you can see these actually put out a really good amount of light and just solar panels and they say they last 14 hours per charge but like if you're driving around outside in the sunlight i don't see any reason why these would ever die on you as long as you're not in super overcast area and i really like how they turn out super easy to install way easier than drilling running wires and all that stuff that i have done before so definitely if you want to get cab lights on your truck this is the route i would recommend going these look awesome I like them a lot, and there they are on the truck. They are sweet. All right, guys, so there are the lights. We went through Cab Over America. Like I said, down below, check them out if you guys want cab lights on your truck. 
and you don't want to go through the hassle of drilling holes, running wires, and all that stuff, and then worrying if it's waterproof because these are watertight, and then nothing's getting into your cap because you're not putting any holes into the cap. Way easier installation, and just I think it's an overall awesome product. So definitely check them out, and if you do in fact buy a set because of me and this video, make sure to let them know that I sent you. And if this is your guys' first time stopping in, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed in any way or you're going to get these cap lights yourself, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Until next time, see you guys later.